Conferences and events are a good place to get education on the latest technologies, but it's also a good chance to network with other companies and find out what they're doing and how they're using the technology to better their business. If you have any kind of material, at all, any kind of knowledge, don't be afraid to volunteer your time, common, be it common uh, Sweden, common Europe, common US. We always need good volunteers. Everybody, everybody has a special skill that I really think they can share with the community. Be it a speaker or a volunteer helping run the organization, everybody possesses some special knowledge that can really contribute to the whole community. My first day in Sweden was two days ago. Of course, I suffered from the dreaded jet lag, but uh, I, I've recovered from that quite nicely, I hope. I did the eight-hour workshop yesterday. I just finished doing two sessions now on web services, which I thought was uh, well attended. Very happy with that. Sweden and Stockholm has been uh, nothing but completely delightful. It's been wonderful. The people here have been, people at Data3 have been treating me so well, I may not go home. I may have. I may take up residence here. We'll we'll have to see about that. It depends on the particular technology. I think that's a difficult question. I think in some areas, absolutely. But in other areas, like application development, I think still we're slow to adopt. Like RDI, perfect example. People are still using the older tools, and it's it's they're missing out. If you're not an early adopter. Adopt that you need you you need to become one, and 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 of course like web services a newer technology available on i, and I know I can tell you the interest in that topic is really going higher and higher every every day. Uh, you know what? It, it it really does depend on their requirements. Um, the, probably the number one reason that we see customers looking at PHP is because the the the, the 5250 green screen interface, while it's very resilient and very powerful, um, we all know how to use a browser. We all understand how a drop down box works. But when it comes to a green screen application. Um, we have to go with training. We have to, to, to teach people how to use the green screen interface because it's not intuitive and it's not natural. I think it's very important to stand out on Data 3's Hush Conference. It's the biggest event in IBM under the whole year. We have a number of solutions that pass for companies and organizations that have that platform. Jag tror att jag saknar lite grann av utvecklarna faktiskt. För jag, jag kommer från den här kommunen från början. Jag vet ju precis vilka som finns där ute på våra banker och våra försäkringsbolag på, på större tillverkande industri och sånt. Många av dem finns ju inte här idag. Många är, är egna. Tyvärr så... Varför de komma hit tycker du? Jag tror att bara för att de ska lära sig den nya tekniken helt enkelt. Alltså de, många tror jag förlitar sig på konsulter ute på marknaden idag men som faktiskt inte har den totala bilden av vad, vad den här plattformen levererar. RPG 4 eller ELI RPG tror jag ett alternativt namn är, är ett yngre språk än Java. Java är alltså ett äldre språk. Mm. Så om man vill jobba med gammal teknik ska man jobba med Java helt enkelt. Ja, alltså rent om, om, man, som, om man tittar på sig själv och sin, sitt yrkesliv, om man verkligen vill vara säker på att man har arbete att göra i framtiden mm. så ska man syssla med just RPG eller Kobol för den delen. För att det kommer vara en konstant bristvara de kommande 15-20 åren. Vi har utbildat merparten av de som sysslar med RPG idag i Sverige. Vi fortsätter att driva just RPG-spåret framåt. Vi har även kobolkompetens och ser till att det finns en kompetensförsörjning.